Welcome to Marketing the Matrix. My name is Jacques Taylor and I'll be your host for today. Today's blog topic is merging your Google Plus local page with your Google Plus business page. Recently, you may have noticed some changes within Google. You may have noticed that a new Google Plus local page has been replaced with your Google Places listing. In today's tutorial, we'll be offering a step-by-step -step guide on how to merge your Google Plus local page with your Google Plus business page. We'll need three things before we get started. The first will be your Google Plus personal page. Next will be your Google Plus business page. And last will be your Google Plus local page. If you do not have a Google Plus business page or Google Plus local page set up now, don't worry about it. We'll show you how to set this up later in the tutorial. Okay, so to get started, our first section will be creating your Google Plus account. Remember that this Google Plus account will be a representation of you and will also be connected to your website. So we want to make sure that this account is live and monitored on a regular schedule. Okay, so to take a look at your Google Plus account. In your Google Plus account, um, you'll see a couple different areas that you could populate with your company information. First, you have a profile picture, a profile banner picture. Right around here, you have um, some areas for your education and your address, um, birthday, gender, and at the bottom, you'll have an area for your website. Focusing on your Google profile picture, two things that we would like you to have is one, make it a clear picture, and two, have a forward posture picture, like Mike does in this, in this tutorial here. The reasoning for this is Google uses a face recognition software. So we want to make sure that your face and your picture is captured and brought up when Google is searching with their face recognition software. Next, we'd like you to put your company information in and make sure it's relevant for your company and up to date. And last, we're going to be going down to your website. One important tip for this is to check if your website starts with a www. or a non www. address and please put it appropriately here. For our next step, we'll be creating your Google Plus business page. Remember that your Google Plus business page will not directly be connected with your Google Plus personal page. So don't worry about anybody finding your personal page through your business plus, uh, Google Plus business page. To set up your Google Plus business page, the first step we'd like you to do is hover over to the bottom and you'll see um, right around more with the three little dots, an area called pages please click on this button. Here, you'll see under Manage Pages, um, an area if you do have some of your information set up, um, your Google listing set up, and a red button over here if you do not says Create New Page. Please click on this tab. Once you create this new page, you'll see a certain areas for you to put in your business type. Um, the first one we're gonna be focusing on is Local Business and Place. Once you see here, you have an area to put your country in. For this tutorial, we'll be using the United States. And your phone number. Very important that you put the phone number here that is located on your Google Plus local page. If you do not know if you have a Google Plus local page or you don't know where to find it, we'll go through some steps on how to dig that information up for you. First, I'd like you to go to google.com backslash places. Once you get to google.com backslash places, please click on the Get Started Now button. If a, a page pops up where it's asking, asking for your country or your phone number, please X out this page. We will not be using this for your country or your phone number at this point in time. Um, the next section, um, if a dashboard clicks up, please click on Get Your Google Listing. All right, our next step, if you did not find your Google Plus local page with either of those steps, we're actually gonna search directly in Google for your Google Plus local page. So the first thing I'd like you to type up in Google is your old company name, and also your old company, old company name and your new company name. The next thing I would like you to check is also your old company phone number and your new company phone number. If you found your Google Plus listing through these methods, please go to your Google Plus page, find the phone number there, and save that. We'll be using it later in, in the tutorial. All right, if you did not find your Google Plus local page, what we'll be using is your primary phone number for this section. So when we go back to your Google Plus page, 
either put your Google Plus local phone number that you found at your Google Plus local page, or put your primary phone number here and press locate. Once you get to here, if your phone number information was correct, you'll see a couple different options here. Um, sometimes there's more than one, but click the one that is most relevant for your company and most updated for your company. For this one, we'll use uh, section A. If you did not find your, your listings here in this list, we're going to be clicking on no matches located. And we're gonna add your uh, company to Google. So first area to add your company to Google through this section is type in your business name, your business phone number, your address. Very important for your address, please make sure your address is uniform not only through your Google Plus sites, but all your social media sites. Under, you're gonna have a section to pick your category. We have professional services, shipping and mailing, um, storage, health and beauty. So pick what category is appropriate for your company. Last but, not, last but not least, I would like you to press Agree and press Create. Once you get to this page, this is your Google Plus business page. Remember, at this point in time, your Google Plus business page and your Google Plus local page have not been merged yet. So if we want to take a look at your Google Plus business page, you'll see that at the top right here, you have a section to follow. Taking a look at your Google Plus local page, you'll see a section here where you have a chance to review. Once these two are merged, we'll have both of these options and one, which is actually fantastic. So you'll have the opportunity to follow and also write a review and have them show up here on the same page, your Google Plus business page. But first, before we get to that step, we have to verify your Google Plus business page. So, going back, once you get to your Google Plus business page, what I'd like you to do first is populate your Google Plus business page with your company information. So first, add your pictures, add your banner picture, put relevant content in your introduction, really relevant and unique um, to your company. Right under, we want you to put your hours, your website, your contact phone number, and your address. Very important is, remember to make this public so that Google can verify your account. Once you have pressed this, we want you to hover over your company name. Right now, you're going to see an unverified button and then a verify now. Please click on verify now. Once you get to this section, we're gonna be asking to put in your Google pen. Once you press the verify now button, Google will send you a postcard with your pen number. It usually takes about five to 10 days to get this postcard, but once you get this postcard with your pen number in it, please put your pen information here. Once you put your pen information here, your Google Plus local and your Google Plus business page will be merged. And it will look like this, with your follow, with your right review, your great pictures in here, and your reviews will start populating down here. In this section, you also can put pictures um, and anything to really spice up your Google Plus page and make it really uniform for your company. Thank you for your time, and thank you for joining us for Marketing the Matrix. That is it for our blog pre presentation today. What we learned in our blog presentation today is merging your Google Plus local page with your Google Plus business page. Thank you for your time. If any of this was a little bit over your head or you need some more support, please feel free to call our technical support staff at 1-800-IMATRIX. Thank you and you have a good day.